everybody, welcome back. We're going to finish talking about the next three body systems that we're discussing for this week. So in this video, we're going to discuss the skeletal system, the muscular system, and the integumentary system. So the skeletal system has four big functions. It protects your organs, it provides support and movement, it stores calcium, and it produces blood cells. So let's talk about the structures of the skeletal system which allow it to do this. The main structure of the skeletal system is bones, which you can imagine. So if you remember the skeleton back in my room, Todd, it was a skeleton. It was made almost entirely of bones. And bones are responsible for three of the four functions of the skeletal system. So bones can protect your organs. Uh, if you think of your rib cage, those ribs are there to help protect some really important organs like your heart and your lungs and keep them from getting hurt. Bones also provide a place for your muscles to attach so that you're able to move around. Because if you didn't have bones, you would just be a pile of muscles on the floor. You wouldn't really be able to move. And also, just the structure of a bone in general stores calcium because it's made of calcium. So next up, we have bone marrow, which is a spongy tissue inside of your bones. This is actually what makes your red blood cells. And we'll talk more about your blood cells in next week's video when we talk about the cardiovascular system. Finally, we have three different types of connective tissue in the skeletal system. The first that we have is cartilage. The cartilage is what your body uses when it wants to provide some structure, but it doesn't want it to be too rigid. So you can find cartilage very easily if you touch your nose or if you touch your ears. So you'll notice that your nose, it's got structure to it. It's not just a blob of muscle, but you can still bend it pretty easily. And the same thing goes with ears. Ears have a very specific structure, but they aren't made of bone. They aren't hard. You can bend them around. You can twist them. And that's because they're made of cartilage rather than bone. We also have tendons, which connect bones to muscles. So in order for you to move your arm, there has to be a connective tissue between the muscle in your arm and the bone in your arm so that you can move it. And finally, we have ligaments, which connect your bones together. Next up, we have the muscular system. So there are three big functions of the muscular system, which match up to the three main types of muscle. So the muscular system allows you to move your body, it allows your heart to beat, and allows your internal organs to do their job. And this matches up because we have skeletal muscle, cardiac muscle, and smooth muscle. So skeletal muscle, as you can guess from the name, works with the skeletal system because it allows movement. So when you flex your arm and you tap your bicep, that's a skeletal muscle because this muscle is attached to your skeleton and working with your skeleton, it allows you to move. Your cardiac muscle is what your heart is made of. So your heart can never stop moving. If your heart stops beating for too long, then you are dead. So your cardiac muscle has to be made special so that it'll never stop beating. Finally, we have the smooth muscle. So this is found inside of your organs, especially your digestive system organs, which we'll talk about next week. So the smooth muscle allows the organ to move in specific ways that it needs to in order to function. But it also has blood vessels inside, which allows the organs to get blood, which is very important for them to keep functioning. Finally, we have the integumentary system. And you can see the integumentary system every time you look in a mirror because that's just your skin. Your skin is actually called the biggest organ in your body because it covers your entire body. So the integumentary system has two big functions. So it is our primary defense from outside the body. And it also helps control our body temperature. So skin is super important because if our muscles were exposed all of the time, we would be getting sick constantly. There are bacteria, there are viruses, there are little bugs, there's fungi, there's stuff everywhere. Um, and if our muscles were just directly exposed, we would be getting sick and hurt all of the time. But our skin is a really good defense, which keeps us from getting sick or getting invaded by all of these little things that are out there. This is why it's so important to wear a mask with COVID, because the only way that that virus can get in is through your nose and your mouth. So if you cover those up and you're very careful about touching your face, then you're less likely to get to the virus because it can't get in through your skin. The other big function of your skin is the ability to sweat. So there are sweat glands under your skin, which when you get too hot will start to produce sweat. 
what cools you down. If you remember when we talked about homeostasis, we talked about temperature regulation. We talked about how when it's too hot, you want to cool down through a negative feedback loop. That's all because of your skin. It is the integumentary system that regulates your temperature. So that covers all of the body systems for this first week. Just as a review for this video, we talked about the skeletal system, which includes your bones and protects your body, allows you to move, stores calcium, and makes blood cells. We also talked about the muscular system, which allows you to move, it keeps your heart beating, and it keeps your internal organs working. And finally, we learned about the integumentary system, which helps protect your body from outside invaders and also helps keep your body cool. So next week, we're going to cover four other organ systems. We'll be talking about the digestive system, the cardiovascular system, the respiratory system, and the excretory system. So stay tuned for that next week. I hope you all have a great day and stay safe, everybody.